Excuse me, little dog. Hi, oh, guys. Oh, it is a cloudy, but it is a nice and warm day here in the middle of January. I am thrilled to say I guess we have about 36 more hours before old man winter is to hit halfway through January. So it is Monday, January 15th, 2024, and I have been under Doomsday Trailer trying to get all the furnace duct work connected before old man winter blows in. Don't need to get into that rant. But anyway, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about here on Collapse Chronicles starting a new feature on Monday called Good News Monday, you know, I, was, I went back and listened to that conversation I had Friday with Chris, the aging hippie, formerly known as the, um, the, the artist formerly known as Vegematic. You know, and I, I'm listening to that, and I'm th more and more I'm thinking, you, you know, he's right. Uh, that it's time to start bringing some positive news onto the planet. So instead of doom scrolling, I, I went into the mainstream media here on uh, Monday to kick off the week uh, looking for positive news right here. And I am thrilled to say, guys, that it really wasn't that hard to do. I don't have one positive news story. I don't have two. I actually have three good news stories. So don't ever let it be said that I don't uh, share good news. So Chris, the aging hippie, this one's for you, brother. And uh, so this should, this should make you get you out of your doom or depression. We're going to start over from the good old BBC with their story, Climate Anxiety, quote, I don't want to burden the world with my child. <laughs> Hallelujah. We, I really want to thank this young woman for coming to the sensible decision not to burden this planet with, with her little brat. Yes. Awareness of the climate crisis has generally been strongest in developed countries, but climate anxiety is now also leading some couples in other parts of the world to decide against having children. So they're uh, interviewing this 23-year-old uh, uh, woman from Brazil who uh, unfortunately let one out uh, out of the bag before she pulled her head out of her ass. And as much as she regrets having that one, at least she maybe she's learned a lesson. Quote, I cannot see myself as responsible for the life of another human being for generating a new life that would become another burden to a planet that is so overloaded already, Julia says. All right. Uh, so then what they do is they take a, a survey of all of these studies uh, coming out, uh, you know, interviewing uh, young folks about climate anxiety. Here's one they mentioned in 2022, a team from Nottingham University uh, asked folks in 11 countries whether anxiety or distress about climate change had made them think they should not have children or had made them regret having the children, you know, that they already had. The proportion saying that they did have such thoughts sometimes, often, or always range from 27% in Japan 
to 74% uh, in India. Um, an analysis of 13 studies carried out between 2012 and 2022, which was published this month by University College London, found that concerns about climate change were typically associated with a desire for fewer children. Yes. Uh, this was usually because participants were concerned about the effect climate change might have on their children's lives or because they felt like Julia that more children would only add pressure on the planet's resources. I did not realize that in 2019 the singer Miley Cyrus said she would not have children because of the state of the planet. So, uh, every fewer human being born on this planet uh, is good news, is, is reason to celebrate, bring on the climate anxiety. Obviously, we have to ratchet up the climate anxiety is, is Greta Thunberg. I think that St. Greta has still not come out and advocated for not breeding. Is Now, she hasn't bred, but I, I don't think that, uh, that Greta uh, has made the connection that it was people having children that put the planet in the situation that it is. It is breeders that brought this planet to where it is. So every breeder we can turn into a non-breeder. Good news for the kids not being born and good news for the planet. So from there uh, we're going to switch gears a little bit. Uh, go over to Yahoo Finance, <clears throat> where we find the old American dream died. Realtor details salary needed to buy a home and afford a middle class lifestyle in 2024. Um, so the definition, this real estate agent, uh, Freddie Smith, his definition of a middle class lifestyle is somebody who can work a 40 hour a week career and have the income to purchase the average home in America. Uh, so, uh, you know, this is one more story, the mounting evidence that more and more uh, people can no longer afford the average American home uh, and or the middle class lifestyle. And this is coming from a former real estate agent, okay? You, you understand. Uh, coming from a non-breeder, uh, former realtor, and I'm still a real estate investor to this very minute, uh, we, 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 we got to understand something. It is the, what did George Bush call it at the 1992 Earth Summit, the, the non-negotiable American way of life along with breeding is what put the planet in the state it's in. The average American home, it did not say in here how many square feet the average American home is now compared to what the average American home was 
you know, in, in 1950, my guess is the average American home, I, I'm just guessing, is easily four times the square footage of an average American home, uh, you know, when the first boomers came along. Uh, you know, boo the fuck who? Boo the fuck who? Uh, every time a, a millennial or Generation Zer uh, cannot uh, buy an average American home and, 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 and have this clueless moron uh, lifestyle, good news for the planet. The, the American dream. Oh, we need to kill that son of a bitch. You know, with prejudice. We need to bury the goddamn American dream six feet under this single wide trailer out in the swamp. I mean, you should see the crap that we've hauled to the landfill uh, out of this one little single wide trailer. No, so in, so in New York right now, you, you know, I own four houses and a, uh, and a camper. So we're counting that. So counting my camper, I own five houses. I own five housing units at Bugs in a Jar Farm in New York. Uh, you add all five of them up, add all five of my houses together, they total less than 750 square feet. You can put all five of my houses inside this single wide trailer. Okay? Uh, you know, like, boo the fuck who? And then, you know, we got two people uh, living in my main house. My big house is 384 square feet. I have two people are sharing a 384 square foot house, just fine. 384 square feet is more than enough room uh, for for two people to live, and and so that leaves me, you know, bouncing around. My other four houses range from 49 square feet to 120 square feet. And, uh, and, 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 the, and the other thing, um, there, there's several things in here talking about, uh, they were talking about, uh, uh, okay, uh, the average American income last year in 2023 was roughly 69 thousand dollars per year sixty nine thousand dollars the 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 average income uh, I made pretty much exactly one third of that last year pretty much let's see yeah uh, last two now I sold some property so uh, I guess I I, I might have hit the average three years ago, but uh, this year, if I make right about one third uh, of the average American income, I live just fine. Okay, I I I I, I live totally fine. I I have no fucking sympathy for anybody making three times as much money as me. Uh, whining that they can't afford uh, to to buy a house. I I, I will have sent. I, I here's who I have sympathy for. <clears throat> okay, if, if if you're a young couple out there and you cannot uh, working, uh, you know, in this country, if you cannot afford a four and I'll go four hundred square feet. Okay, bigger than my main house. If, if two of you working together can't scrape up the money to buy a 400 square foot tiny house and that you're not breeders. If you have made the pledge 
we're not going to breed and we agree that for that a 400 square foot house is plenty of house for two humans and between the two of you, uh, you, you can't figure out a way to buy a house, uh, then, then yeah, I've got sympathy for you, okay? In, anybody else, boo the fuck who. Uh, and, and now, you know, I, I, I love them talking about, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time in this article talking about child care how the skyrocketing price of child care, according to this realtor, is one of the main reasons that, that uh, these young couples cannot afford to buy a house is because they couldn't keep their pecker in their pants. They couldn't keep from letting their knickers down. They had these little planet-eating brats that they never should have had, and now uh, they wonder why that they can't afford a house. No sympathy. No sympathy. For breeders whining about, uh, about the price of child care. I uh, never should have had the goddamn little brat. I got no sympathy for you. Your little brat should never have been born number one, and you don't need a house bigger than 400 square feet. Okay? You're a spoiled little brat. Put your pecker in your pants, pull your knickers up, and live within your means. And understand it's the American dream, the non-negotiable American dream in the average American house is the reason we're fucked. But one more just quick story. I had to admit I got a chuckle out of this one. You know, I love it when they actually have the word doom in a uh, in, in a headline, the doomed U.S. moon lander is on a collision course with planet Earth and will be destroyed to protect other satellites. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed in the second half of that sentence, uh, but but you have to love it. You know, I'm actually starting to believe uh, these clueless moron conspiracy wackos who, who claimed that the Apollo missions uh, 50 years ago were a hoax. You know, it's been 50 years since we put a man on the moon. We And this is the first U.S. A uh, spaceship, if I'm understanding this correctly, uh, unmanned spaceship. We can't even put an unmanned spaceship on the moon 50 years after we had humans walking around up there. And again, hallelujah, we don't belong on the fucking moon. Okay? Is this a little clue? I was just doing an article last week that, that even the fucking moon uh, is, is, is the, the lunar anthropocene. Get humans off the fucking moon. You, you, you know, we're so full of ourselves for God's sake. Now, I am a little bit uh, disappointed that there, uh, you know, there's so many uh, of these satellites spinning around up there. Uh, so now they're afraid uh, that this thing, this, the, 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 I guess it had a fuel leak or something, uh, that this however many million dollar uh, spaceship is going to start smacking into other satellites uh, on its uh, uncontrolled 
uh, descent into Earth, so I guess they're blowing the thing up. I, I don't know how they're destroying it. I, I, I wish the goddamn thing uh, would come flying in and take out about 10,000 of those fucking satellites flying around out there. We got so much crap uh, flying around uh, the, the damn sky. I mean, uh, have you been that? Try, trying to look at the night sky in the past few years, I mean, all those little, those little things zipping around up there. Good fucking God. But anyway, that's one spaceship that ain't going to land on the moon. And every spaceship we can keep from landing on the fucking moon is good news in my book. So, uh, all right, we have climate anxiety, keeping clueless morons from reading. <coughs> we have the American dream is dead. And we have a moon lander uh, blowing up before it hits the moon. So don't ever let it be said that you do not hear positive good news on Collapse Chronicles. There are things to be huh, 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 about. Anyway, little dog, do you have anything to add to? Do you have some good news to add? He said, Papa did not find any, any live rats under the trailer today. That's good. Get out there and uh, enjoy celebrating the death of the long overdue death of the American dream. Well, you still can. Bye, guys.